let's start with your reading Aries today we are going to look into your recent past current energies and near future and then we will immediately clarify in order to find out more details about your messages now let's begin right away with your reading Ooh, what's going on here? Look at this, ace, ace, ace. But also there is something else going on here. We see the number zero with a full one, two, three. This is, uh, this is definitely something very interesting happening right here. And we see with the full as the main energy, that right now you might be feeling as though you are over something or someone right here you might be thinking i am done i'm ready for something new i'm ready to look ahead instead of always focusing on what happened in the past i just don't have any more strength left for that this seems to be the moment when things can really turn around for you it clearly hasn't been easy for you lately, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter where you're coming from. All it matters is where you're headed towards. And right here, there is something very special happening for you, happening in this reading. You know, as you know, usually my readings are past, present, and future, but this feels more like a progression. Three months ahead, which are building up to a surprise over here. I have to say, this is something that hasn't happened before, so I'm really excited for this. Let's see what these three milestones are going to be. First one, we have the Ace of Wands and the King of Cups. First of all, with these energies over here, I get the sense that whatever it is that you have been going for has never turned out as you hoped it would. It feels like you've been so close to find what you were looking for, so close to be truly happy and balanced. But every time you get there, something gets in the way and you start experiencing all these setbacks and obstacles that at a first glance don't make sense, but that might be caused by something deeper, which we'll have to look into. Understanding what this is will be your first milestone, Aries. So it's a very important one. We'll come back to this as soon as we clarify. In the present, we have another Ace, the Ace of Cups and the Two of Swords. There is an important decision to make that either you or someone around you is going to delay at first. Someone here is definitely trying to not let the other person know how they feel and they keep trying negotiating this inner voice that really sounds like inner saboteur whomever this person might be we see how they're standing in front of something that they really want but they're giving up before even starting to fight for this i get the sense that this is you but we'll see we'll confirm that as soon as we clarify in the near future, our third ace and the three of wands. There is a very exciting turn of events happening over here. A message, a confession, a confirmation that will put things in perspective for you. We'll look into the details of this, but what we see right away is that this is going to bring you to the next phase. It's overall good news, a sign that this time things will finally play out very differently for you feeling as though you're finally moving in the right direction and maybe even starting to build hope around the possibility that this could work out this time we'll see what this is we have a lot to clarify so let's begin with the recent past actually with the first milestone i'm not used to that Ten of Wands, Eight of Cups, Eight of Swords, woof, with the Two of Pentacles. I can see how exhausted you have felt 
when it came to this in the past. You have been thinking here, I don't understand why, but I always have to work extra hard for everything. Nothing really comes easy for me. And it's not the same for the people around me. What, what am I doing wrong? We see with the Ten of Wands, a lot of baggage on you and you feeling as exhausted every time you have to go through this. And here's the thing. I don't deny that at some point you might have experienced some actual issues, one after the other, in fact. And there has been something that really got in the way of things. But what I see at this point is that you are expecting for things to always evolve in the same way, for things to be this way, expecting for things to fall apart eventually. Eight of Swords, this is all mind energy. And also it talks about expectations. It's a mindset that is a result of all the setbacks you've had in the past all the times that you had to walk away from what this is for you and something that you still carry with you in the present. Look at that baggage. It's important to understand the perception of the situation. Perception really is everything. And subconsciously, when we expect the worst, we surround ourselves with the wrong people and wrong situations that will reflect that expectation. And we keep ourselves stuck in a never ending cycle that can be broken only by ourselves. So first milestone Aries, understand your mindset and recalibrate your expectations. You deserve more and you can be happy. You will be happy. Stop having doubts around that, okay? Now let's see what the second milestone is going to be about. I love this type of reading. Maybe I should do it more often on purpose next time. Hmm. The Magician. Eight of Wands. Oh, okay. And the Nine of Wands with the Seven of Swords. You have something or someone you're thinking about over here, Aries, don't you? Right here with the magician, you're trying to manifest something. You're trying to manifest the presence of someone in your life. Eight of Wands, having a lot to say, but keeping it all behind that gate. Keeping it hidden because you're afraid to let this out right now. Obviously, energies go both ways. This could instead be someone who's extremely interested in you, but who's not moving forward because they don't think they're good enough for you. Feel free to interpret the message in whichever direction fits your situation. But for the sake of the reading, I'm going to say that this is you. It seems as though when you think about this person or situation, you can already anticipate the setback that eventually always comes up in these type of situations. And you're already feeling exhausted before even trying. You might be telling yourself that you are taking your time, evaluating the situation, waiting for a sign. And while you're waiting, life is passing you by, Aries, and opportunities are coming and going. Also, I have to say, whatever it is that it's catching your focus right here is already focused on you. You might not be able to see it, but this is really mirrored energy. And there is clearly mutual attraction over here. You're telling yourself a lie, seven of swords trying to, maybe not even trying, but being very deceptive to yourself right now because of fears and because of everything that we've discussed up to this point. So let's see what we have as the third milestone. The Hermit, the Star, Page, oh, oh, and two pages, look, full circle. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> that is absolutely crazy. There is something here coming at you very, very strong. They're definitely not leaving any room for misunderstandings over here. And from the start, you'll know that something is different about them. I see you standing in this belief speechless with a hermit 
as if you were just in a dream, in a really beautiful dream, waiting to wake up at any point. There is a fundamental shift in between your role in the past and your role in the present. In the past, perhaps you found yourself uh, determined to enter a situation, to start the connection, whereas the other person always needed more time, needed to think about it, needed to make up their mind, and they didn't seem to have the same drive. This time instead, you don't have to do much at all. This person is coming towards you full speed and they're ready to work for this. They are wanting to impress you and let you know that they're interested and that you are a special one. Quite the difference from what you're used to, right? Obviously, this might be for you a love reading, but it can be something else. Whatever it is that didn't work out for you in the past and that you had to struggle for right now comes towards you with very little effort from you. So let's see what is going on over here. We have a lot to look into. For now, Aries, suffice it to say that something you thought was not going to happen, it's going to happen after all. Someone you thought was not interested will turn out to be more interested than you are. It's important right now to go through all the milestones before getting to this third one. If you want for this energy to be permanent. Now, let's flip the reading and let's read into the other person's energy. Whatever external energy is coming towards you. Who are they? What are they real, their real long-term intentions right now? Anything you should know about them before it's too late. And what else you have coming your way in the next few months now that you have really worked your way up towards this surprise and towards this turning point? Let's keep going with the reading areas. If you want to dive deeper into the messages, just follow me in the extended reading link below in the description box. Also, don't forget that every single week I randomly select viewers who have watched the extended video to offer them a 100% free personal live 45 minute reading. I send out emails every Monday morning to confirm. Please make sure to check out your spam folder as well. Now, stay tuned for the extended preview coming right up after this. Welcome back to your extended reading, Aries. The bridging energy taking us from this current situation to the incoming events is the Seven of Pentacles. This is the card that we just mentioned this. This is the card that talks about finally being able to see the fruit of your labor without having to do any more work for it. You're coming from the Six of Pentacles, a time in which you had to put in a lot of effort. But right now, you have already planted the seeds and you're going to see the results without having to do much for it. I never say this in readings because usually we talk about knowing what the, the cards are telling you, that it's possible for you, that it's available to you, and then going out there and get it. But this time, you have already done the work. And right here, we see that it's springtime for you, Aries. It's time to sit back and finally see the results. Now, this really looks like a brand new beginning for you. And it's something that a lot of you were not expecting at all. This is playing out so nicely for you. And I cannot wait to see the details of it. So let's immediately start clarifying and let's see what it is that it's coming your way that you wish for with the star but that you thought it was never going to happen. Let's see how it's about to shape up around you in the next few weeks. Hmm. Ooh, oh, I see what's going on here. This is, this is quite beautiful actually, but there is an issue right there, Aries, something that you should absolutely know about. We see the potential, we see how beautiful this is going to be and in what position in life this is going to place you. But before getting here, we need to see what that issue might be. The first thing that we see with the seven...